morning. Here's my Burl Marks variegata. She's been putting out non-variegated leaves lately, though she's here outdoors receiving lots of light. I actually bought her with low variegations on some of its leaves, and now this new shoot right here produced all green leaves. Well, it's still a beautiful burly, but I just really don't want her to revert. If you look at the stems, it also doesn't have much coloration on them. So, when buying your priced variegated plants, the variegation on the stem is as important as those on its leaves. Today, I'm gonna cut out all the green shoot and I'll be giving an update later on in this video. If we'll be able to bring back the variegation on this green burl cutting. And let's see if the mother plant improves and will grow new variegated shoots. sterilize your cutting tool when doing this now I'm trying to loosen the soil with a stake for easier uprooting I don't have any hesitation to cut this plant because there's already lots of aerial roots adapted to the soil so there's a very low chance for me killing this plant nice healthy roots here and this tiny streak of yellow on the stem is giving me so much hope that she will put out variegations real soon I'm going to wait for this cutting to air dry for an hour or two then plant it in a fast draining medium that works for me then I'll leave it dry for two days more before watering it and here's the mother plant left with super pretty variegated leaves. She's thriving here outdoors under indirect sunlight. I have installed a 70% shade net in here in the garden. For the fertilizer, I use slow release NPK. After four months, here she is. Very beautifully painted variegations get me really excited every time a new leaf is about to unfurl. I'd like to have more parts of this beauty, so I already air layered the stems, and later on, I'll show you how I will be propagating this plant. I think that variegated burly marks is such an alluring philodendron cause each leaf is like a fingerprint. It's unique art on its own. It has individual patterns of variegation that's really captivating. Aren't they lovely? I can just sit and stare at this foliage just all day. Here's now the all green shoot after 4 months. I've cut back some of its green leaves as it continued putting out plain greens until this one. I'm also hopeful that this upcoming leaf is variegated. Indeed, after a week, a new vibrant variegated foliage emerged. Truly, 
philodendron burl marks is like a box of chocolates. You'll never know what you're gonna get. This other part of burly has smaller leaves and are more compact while this one in white pot has larger leaves but more leggy and loves to trail and that's what makes it more convenient for propagation. The rest of this video will be on the step-by-step -step propagation of these burly marks with some care guide that I have been following with all my other philodendron propagations. Some of them are posted on this channel.
Cause I don't want